Okay, and I guess we're capturing the whole thing. So, uh, this is Sheila Finkelstein of Technology for Seniors Made Easy. I'm here with my friend, Morgene Jordan. Uh, Peaceful Pet Passing, and another website you want to mention? Communications with Love. Okay, communicationswithlove.com. Morgene is a very loving person, as shown by the fact that she'll help me at any time I need it. So what we're doing right now is showing you meeting on Zoom, and I want to show some different control. So here, because I'm speaking, you see me, Morgene, and I just yeah. double-clicked on Morgene, so you can see her in two ways. Either it's set up so when the speaker speaks, you'll see, or I, you notice I double-clicked. I'm double-clicking on me, this little thumbnail up there, well, that's not there, and so I saw me. Now I'm double-clicking on Morjean. So, Morjean, you want to introduce yourself? I am Morjean Jordan. I'm a writer, an artist, a photographer. I spent the last 20 years communicating with animals and nature, and I live in Washington State by the famous volcano, Mount St. Helens. Thanks. And Morgene is actually one of the reasons, and friends, close friends like Morgene, that I'm passionate about everybody knowing a little bit even just how to be using the computer. Morgene and I are best friends, and we connected several years ago in an online group that met just by phone. Now we have the, and we're, the, we're in several different groups over the years, and we're in our own writer's group that Morgene leads, five of us that meet once a week. And we connect a lot now on Zoom when particularly Morgene has questions, and I'll share screens and show her. So, Morgene, what is it that you like about Zoom? I love the screen share, so when I have a problem... And a few times a year I have big problems. I don't understand how to do something, and I'm a very kinesthetic person, so I learn by doing. So I call Sheila. We go on Zoom, and I can watch her do exactly whatever it is I need to learn how to do, and I can do it at the same time while I'm watching her. So I really get it and understand it much better than in the old days when she tried to explain to me on the phone. And it would take three or four times as long. So I like Zoom so that I can see what she's doing and do it in real time and then ask her questions. Well, great. And I'll do a little bit of screen sharing. And uh, as we go along right now, people that are watching may just be seeing this video on screen share. What I want to show is, and so we've mentioned screen share. If you put your mouse on the image, you'll see controls on the bottom. So right now, I have everybody showing screen share so you don't automatically be seen. Here's the audio. If you click on audio, you'll see that you can mute your audio. I can mute it. You can go by telephone. If there's background noise and you're on, just click it and you'll see a little red line. Oh, I can't do that or you don't hear me. You'll <laughs> click it and see a little <laughs> huh? red line and can't hear it. If you don't want any of us to see or anyone to actually see your photo, you didn't put on makeup or you're not happy with the way you look, after a while you get used to it, just click on that. And if you've had a program, if you've registered in Zoom and uploaded a picture, it will show that picture. Otherwise, it will show a blank icon if you're not, if you have the audio, uh, the video disconnected. If you call in by phone and you can't see any of this, this image when you're talking will just show a receiver. Along the bottom now, and I'll click my audio back, along the bottom now, uh, you'll see settings, and you get to collect your audio. You can test your speaker. You see that my microphone is working. Uh, you can check your video and where it's coming from. Some of you might have a camcorder. If your picture isn't showing, you can check that on video. Here's an option for recording and it says at the end where recordings go and note I forgot to actually 
record this because it can also be recorded on Zoom. Now see this little orange button? I mean chat at the very bottom on the screen also there's chat and there's the orange number one which means that Morjean has either sent something to all of us or to me. So if you wanted to send a message that just I would say, or in this case, I'm sending to just more Jean. Hi, bank. More Jean, you want to be my bank? <laughs> and that's just going to more Jean privately. So thanks, more Jean. And we can stick this out of the way. And I will have that there if anybody else wants to uh, video. So note that said chat. And that was there. Here was the recording. And here was the end meeting. If I end the meeting, or if you want to leave the meeting. Uh, there are two ways of seeing this. Right now I have it as speaker view. There's also the gallery view, which means that I want to move the zoom. Anytime you have little pictures here, you can move it out of the way. I'm making the chat smaller. Uh, now anybody that's on here, if I'm in video mode, will, pictures will be shown up to 25 people. Whoever's speaking, Morjean, you want to speak? Hello. Uh, well, uh, it should be showing. Okay, I'm clicking to speaker view. Okay, Morjean, talk now. You want me to talk? Hi, how are you? Uh, I don't... Okay. okay, this is now on speaker view again. Um, so I'll have to figure some of that. And if you'd really like to see this full screen, up in the top right corner, there is full screen. And uh, so if I'm on speaker view, you can see me large. <laughs> I don't know that I like that. We can see more Jean really large, filling, actually filling the screen. So there's are different ways. There's a little thing, exit full screen. And we're back to the smaller size. Uh, on here on the right, which I think you will probably see, is my control panel. I have it listed to meetings. I have a lot of different recurring meetings set up. There's also a default, which I set up with my phone number. So if we happen to be talking and I say, let's go on to Zoom, I can just give you my phone number. You can click into Zoom and enter my phone number as a meeting ID. Uh, the home button gives you the opportunity to go back to a meeting, to schedule a meeting, or in this case, I can't join a meeting. We're already in a meeting. Uh, I haven't favored any contacts. Uh, so, Sheila, do you know that we're not seeing any of that? I know you're not seeing any of it. I'm hoping that the audio, that the video I'm doing, the screens capture video is doing that. Okay. The, the Zoom recording would not do that, and I'm doing this all thinking that the screen capture video is showing that. And thank you for telling, reminding me of that. Otherwise, I will have, um, we won't use it, and I'll be just putting together a screen. But I'm looking now for, I lost my meeting controls. So right here, if ever you can't see anything, find the Zoom icon a little camera in a circle and that brings up the zoom if you lost it if somehow other comes up or in this case it brought back my menu which also is showing settings and again I showed you that before the different settings I'm going back to my home now or the meetings I wanted to show so that's a basic overview that Morgine reminded me if this were recorded by Zoom, you wouldn't see all the different controls, and I'm hoping that the recording I'm using for screen capture will show this. So, Marjean, anything else that you would like to say? No, I just really enjoy Zoom and have a lot of fun with it and uh, use it with my relatives, too. Oh, you've been doing it with your relatives? I have once or twice, you know, with my son. Okay. That reminds me, and I've told people, many people in this call might have read or heard it, was the fun we had with um, people on my family gathering on the 25th of December. Did you ever see that, Regine? 
Yes. Okay, let me show. But the one thing I forgot I wanted to show with this is showing share screen. Now, in sharing screen, I can choose anything that I have open. I'm sharing desktop now. And I want to go on the side. I want to go to Chrome has my video channel. Let me go to any of you want to watch any of my tutorials. If you go to youtube.com technology for seniors, you'll see all my tutorials, most of which are on the website, but you can grab them fast here. On the left, there's a playlist. Now this you see, correct, Marjean? Yes. Okay, when I'm going to my playlist, it's showing all the videos I have. Now I'm going to take you to my family gathering that I mentioned. You won't be able to see this because I have it set up as private. Only people with the, with the uh, URL will have it. But here were, there were three ways we were showing. Uh, this was my, the family was gathering. The first was the full screen. Um, and uh, I, I was trying to get on my iPad, but the iPad's not cooperating. Now that was my cousin, one of my cousins in, um, from an airport picking up his son. In the middle, everybody was talking so far, so fast and couldn't hear anybody that I, I was recording this on. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, did you see this one, Marjean? No, I don't think so. This is cute. This is just a quick 40 seconds. No. Uh, so what? what? Don't ask. Yes, I don't know. We're burning, which is not great for the environment either. Oh, somebody's writing something. Yeah, how? How no, about? How about? about. One at a time. One at a time. Who that? Who wrote that? Sheila, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, Sheila. Sheila did it. I think, Sheila, you should tell people who to talk. Okay, Sheila. Sorry, it's your turn. Okay, so what happened after that is we did, in fact, it had been suggested when we did this, that we have uh, go back and discuss uh, the years, the history. And so then we quieted down. And it, for some reason, this wound up showing everybody. This is now in the gallery mode. And you'll see when the person's talking how the individual lights up. Uh, you'll note there are people here, several people on their iPads and phones in a house in Philadelphia. Okay, my cousin in the airport, cousins from Rhode Island. Uh, this was the room, my son's office, where I was videoing it. And I was actually, my son and uh, daughter-in-law and grandson were actually out on the patio. So you see, it gets to be a little okay, less noisy. So, Rob reminded me that I could, so that I could do that on the iPad. Everybody in the future, if you want to do something like that, there's share screen, and that was on the whiteboard. Okay, so that gives you a brief. You can see share screen. I can move around the internet. I can. Um, <laughs> Just finish the article, please. So I can actually go to my site and show you things, and so that's a fun way too. And I'm glad I had a chance to share my family with you. Just a great way of being together. So, that's it. Yes, and any participant can screen share too, so I can take screen share and show Sheila something. Sure. Would you like to do that quickly? Is there something you want to show me? Thanks for pointing that out. Let's see. Screen share only. Screen share with sound. Now just click the screen share with sound. I just don't change it. Keep to the default. Okay. okay. Let's see, I am join the meeting. Oh, notice 145 where more Jean is, and it's 445. Wow. So, how come I'm out of, how do I get back into the meeting? Well, you just went up top, up very top, just uh, so that was what was on her screen. She can move around any place else to our YouTube, or you can see okay, the. Okay, I see screen share only. Okay.
Okay, and those are more Jean's icons, and she's now going into Firefox. So I was just saying that you could see the page, and then I'll stop screen sharing just so. Okay. You know, you could see that I could take over and show you something else. Right, and then I think I can also block it so people aren't just arbitrarily taking it over. Okay, thanks again, Morgine. Uh, uh, that's Morgine Jordan, Communications with Love, and Sheila, a technology for seniors made easy. And um, Morgine, if you stay on, we'll finish, and I will stop this video. I most appreciate your helping me.